A deadly social media challenge using Benadryl is making a comeback among young people. It actually put a 13-year-old in New Jersey in the ER. News Force Brian Thompson in Monmouth County tonight with the mother's warning to other parents. 13-year-old Jacob Stevens died two weeks ago from a Benadryl overdose in Ohio shortly after this picture was taken. At Jersey Shore University Medical Center, a 13-year-old boy almost died at the same time for the same reason. All stemming from a years-old TikTok challenge blocked since 2020, as the social media site told me this afternoon. They're not reading the real news often. <laughs> They're seeing the challenges and stuff like that, and they don't realize the dangerousness. They don't know that someone just died from doing this. The FDA has warned for years that overdosing on this over-the-counter allergy drug can be fatal, and the labeling has warnings as well. But as a mom of the Monmouth County boy who asked not to be identified told me, quote, I never thought Benadryl would cause such a problem for us. He ended up in a pediatric bed here at Jersey Shore Medical Center after his parents had gone out for a rare date night, the father checking on him upstairs, and then, quote, I heard him scream my name. Whether Benadryl or a generic equivalent, overdoses can be devastating to families, as we heard from the father and sister of Ohio's Jacob Stevens. I can't, I can't offer anything. I, I, I can't deal with myself, so I don't have anything to offer anybody else right now. If you can, maybe sit in their bedrooms and just think of memories, because that helped me a little bit. Because mm -hmm. a lot of memories come back in a place that you guys like have been together mm -hmm. a lot. It helped me a lot. In the New Jersey case, where doctors here at Jersey Shore were able to save the boy, his mother tells me, quote, now everything is in a locked cabinet. I wear keys as a necklace. And Jersey Shore's Dr. Stacy Dumas adds. Maybe keeping computers in public areas in the home so you can see that, taking their phones from them at night. So things like that to really limit the use when they're young. Benadryl maker Johnson & Johnson calls the challenge a dangerous trend and should be stopped immediately. Even though TikTok no longer allows a Benadryl search, the Internet, of course, is forever. And Dr. Dumas tells me that 13-year-olds, whether in Ohio, here, or anywhere else, simply can't understand the danger when faced with one of these challenges. In Neptune, Brian Thompson, News for New York.